What's good, y'all? This your boy Shoe Game Elite, aka Dope Tuck. You know what I'm saying? This is a little discussion video I'm finna do for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is my opinion on shit that's been going on. And uh, I just want y'all opinion. I want y'all to, uh, you now I got a voice and I'm gonna use it. But, uh, I wanna give some shout outs to all the subscribers and followers. Follow me on Instagram at dope underscore tuck, D O P E underscore tuck. And, uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, shout out to my boy, my Don Move from back home, Kyrie Robinson, number 29 for the Saints. They in the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Sue Wu was having a boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this guy with the phone with that nigga, really. You know what I'm saying? I just want to congratulate him and shit. That's my Don Move. Uh, what else I wanted to say? But anyway, let's get into this discussion, man. It's December 30th. We got a couple of limited releases coming up, and we just had the, you know what I'm saying, the Christmas hype over shoes. And this shit, the shit I'm finna talk about is an ongoing thing about people complaining about people basically hoarding shoes, coming out with five, six pairs from a store and they didn't get one, and people having plugs, connects, and jankiness going on with raffles and shit. And I'm finna just shut all that shit down real quick. Finna get y'all motherfucking minds correct. And y'all let me know if I'm wrong. First off, they just fucking shoes. Quit all that bitch ass whining and crying and shit because you didn't get your shoes. It's just fucking shoes. Know what I'm saying? Only way I can see you complaining is if you paid the motherfucker at House of Hoops or your Foot Locker like shit an extra for your shoes, and he didn't get your shoes for you, and he didn't give you your money back. That's the only way I can see you complaining. You know what I'm saying? What you need to do is to make sure you get your shoe, and then go. First of all, if you're gonna take the time to complain and whine and cry and want to have a fit and cuss people out because you didn't get your shoe. That means you need to take more effort to go ahead and establish a relationship with somebody up there and get you a plug and connect and do what it takes to get your shoe. If motherfucker tell you, nigga, you want your shoe, you have to pay me extra for it. And you be like, nah, I'm good. And then whine and complain and have fits and want to cuss people out when you didn't get your shoe. Then that's your fault. What you, what you need to do is take your ass down to your nearest store and make you a friend. Get you a plug and connect. I got my connects. I don't pay above retail for shit. I don't have to have tickets for shit. I barely got a wait line. Sometimes that's all I gotta do, man. Just way out in the line and blend in with everybody else. You know you got you. Everybody know that dude at a release. Y'all see him at the same mall, same stores. And he coming out with four or five bags. Like, oh, they go, oh boy. If people do that shit to me. Oh, they go, man, they go to the nigga with the dreads. He finna come out. I wonder how many pair of shoes he finna walk out with now. Let's see if I can get one. And people be hating. People pull me to the side and be like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Who you know in there? You know what I'm saying? What you doing? How much extra you paying the shit? Let me get one of them off you. Nah, man. Nah. You know what I'm saying? For one, you know what I'm saying? I'm not paying extra for shit. That's my thing. If I miss the shoe, oh, well, no matter how bad I want the shoe, if I miss the shoe, oh, fucking well. Because it's always another shoe coming out. It's always going to be another shoe coming out. Another limited edition is another this, that. Another retro this. Another uh, quick strike that coming out the next weekend or this day or that day or whatever. Y'all motherfuckers know what shoes. There's enough websites and, and Instagrams and, and Twitters and web and websites that telling y'all when shoes come out. You know when the shoes come out. You know you're supposed to have your money together and have your shit together for when that shoe come out. So why so why complain when you didn't handle your business to, to take care of that shit? I understand, you know, you got sneaky heads like me, collectors and, and other big time people and big money motherfuckers that come in there and, and, and swipe shit up. And you leave a red, regular customer hanging. But think if I was look at it like this. If the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't give a fuck about you not having your shoe. So that's how I feel. I'm not finna be having no pity on y'all cause I holler at my people, you know what I'm saying, a week or two in advance. I need this shoe, you know what I'm saying? I need this many pairs. What I need to do, they be like, you know what I'm saying, I got you, just do this, do that, and I and we good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna feel bad because I handle my business and my plugs took care of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. And I, I, this is the right hand. This is the, the right hand up. I testify. I have never paid over retail for any shoe out the store. Any. I ain't never paid. Nigga, I ain't bought shit. No recent shoes off eBay. None of that shit. None of that. I've never paid over retail. And I get a lot of employee discounts. I can show y'all receipts. 
I don't give a fuck. I made my connections, my plugs. A lot of them was my family. A lot of them people I grew up with. A lot of them motherfuckers, like, I've been knowing since middle school. You know what I'm saying? A couple of them was females I used to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, I established that relationship, but that's what y'all need to do. But y'all be crying to have these bitch fits and and temper tantrums and want to cuss people out because you didn't get your shoe. Oh, and, and then you see somebody coming out with bags of shoes. And y'all acting like y'all in the line at fucking the homeless shelter on Thanksgiving trying to get a plate of food. And you see a motherfucker walk out with four or five plates of food. And you get the man, you know what I'm saying? He, what the fuck I'm gonna eat? All that shit. Like, come on, bro, chill. It's your shoes. You ain't missing no meal. You, you not missing no meal. Nigga, and your money ain't get took. So, well, you good. Move on. A lot of y'all trying to keep up with your favorite Instagram collective, favorite YouTube collective, and all that shit. And what y'all not realizing is, I'm gonna put y'all onto some real game real quick. A lot of motherfuckers' shoes ain't real to begin with. A lot of motherfuckers got replicas and variants and some knockoff bullshit, but it look good on camera. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them, and they getting taxed. And what y'all don't understand is, a lot of motherfuckers got some good ass jobs so that they can buy the real shoe and buy a lot of them shoes. You look at some of niggas Instagram, nigga, they driving nice cars, you know what I'm saying, and all that shit, cause they actually got real jobs they already established. Some of them just basic motherfuckers just out there just, you know what I'm saying, working a minimum wage job and they trying to, and they trying to keep up with them. It's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's steps and levels you gotta take. And some motherfuckers is more established. Motherfuckers, some of these sneaky and collectors in their 30s and shit. They got families and real jobs. And you got 18-year-old, 19-year-old motherfuckers trying to trying to keep up and shit. Going broke behind that shit. It's not that serious, dog. It's definitely not that serious. I'm just an average motherfucking college student. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice little couple of traps and grinds. I do this and all that. Get my money. And I'm able to do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Flip shoes, do this and all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't need y'all in my business. But... I do what I need to do, and I'm not trying to keep up with none of them motherfuckers. I'm buying what I like, and and I'm gonna sell you what you like and what you want. But a lot of them motherfuckers on Instagram and YouTube got fake shoes. A lot of motherfuckers got, you know what I'm saying? They posting pictures, oh man, you know what I'm saying? I look up to this nigga in the sneaker game and all that shit. Like, man, what the fuck? It's a shoe collector, nigga. They ain't uh your favorite athlete or nothing. They ain't no superhero. You know what I'm saying? With some moralities, my nigga. Like, it's a sneaker collective. And it's happy as shit probably fake. You know what I'm saying? I say that because, nigga, if you look on that, on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter, for some of these sample shoes and limited edition shoes, motherfuckers be having pairs and pairs. Like, if all these motherfuckers got all these limited edition pairs, like, what fuck everybody getting them from? All these damn pairs and shit. Like, like this is straight up. A lot of motherfuckers got fake shoes. I know y'all seen the Oregon Duck 3s and shit. And these red Yeezys, the, the red Octobers, how many fake pairs and all this shit. Like, peak that shit. Y'all, they all trying to keep up these motherfuckers. And they got you, you know what I'm saying? They got a blindfold over your shit. You not realizing that it's a lot of this shit fake. And a lot of them is paying way above retail to have that shoe. So, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Do you. You know what I'm saying? Know your limits. And stop and stop complaining and whining and shit about the shit. If you didn't take the proper steps and required to get your shoe, you shouldn't be nothing you should be complaining about. You know what I'm saying? And that's just being 100. And for y'all that are able to go into the mall, go into the store and walk out, walk out with four or five pairs, you and your people walking out with multiple pairs, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't feel bad. Cause these motherfuckers wanna, you know what I'm saying? They hollering out all this janky shit going on up there, and I'ma report y'all. I'ma report y'all and all that. But the shoe was on the other foot. They wouldn't be saying that shit. So fuck them. Keep it moving. I don't know one sneaker collector, one sneakerhead that got a foot that don't do janky shit. That's and sometimes that's the most. Lot of, lot of times that's the only way some of these sneakerheads and collectors and resellers is gonna get some of their pair of shoes that they had to hold somebody. They plug at house hoops or finish line or something had to hold a, a regular customer. What I mean by that was selling their shoes that was reserved for them or telling people they sold out. And they really got your shit off to the side. And that's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad because, like I said, if the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't feel bad. Only, it's only the only person I feel bad for is a motherfucker that had a ticket or he done paid a motherfucker at the store an extra 50 or something to hold his shoe and he, he didn't get his shoe. The motherfucker don't want to give him his money back. That's the only motherfucker. Then, then you got to see me when you get off work, bro. You got to catch me outside by your, by your, uh, by your Saturn. My nigga, you want to see me. 
You know what I'm saying? But other than that, bro, it quit. Everybody just quit out there. Beach ass whining and crying. It's just sneakers. Move on. I mean, there's no reason to be acting like that over shoes and want to report. You didn't witness a murder and nobody take nothing from you. Cut that shit out. Just, just cut it out. There's no reason for that. If you think some janky shit going on at your, at your Foot Locker or your local store, it probably is. And, oh well. No, so it ain't gonna change. Motherfuckers to get fired, then the whole new the whole new crew come in and they already on game or finna get put on game. It's gonna be the same shit all over again. So that's how I feel about it. Um just let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram. Hope y'all gonna you know see see where I'm coming from with this shit. It's just shoes. And if you really feel that 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 heart that heartache about about not getting your shoes in do what you need to do to get your shoes in. Holla at your boy.